Welcome back, everyone, to another installment of What's Trending Wednesday. Okay, hey y'all. Um, this is more of a serious What's Trending. And so, you've all heard about what's happening at the Capitol and what did happen. Um, okay, so a bunch of Trumpsters, they basically just went on private grounds in Cap Washington, D.C., stormed the Capitol, climbed up the buildings, you know, start, you know, protesting and yelling stuff and being violent and everything. And, yeah, it's just ridiculous because it's all about this election. And they're like, um, it wasn't fair. Uh, there were votes that weren't counted. You know, it, just stuff like that. And I'm like, that's ridiculous because everything was counted fairly two or three times. So for them to say it wasn't fair is ridiculous. And so, the people that were there, they are going to try to go again on January 17th. They're going to every capital in all 50 states. And so, if you can, just stay home. But if not, um, you know, just protect yourself the best way you can. And specifically, on the 19th and 20th, um, they're going to try to go to Washington, D.C. again, specifically. And they're going to be heavily armed. And if you live in D.C., please stay away from the Capitol. Um, you know, stay home if you have to, if you can. And, yeah, this is getting way too violent over a election that was fair First of all, and he, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And, um, so there was a call for, uh, Mike Pence. They asked him to do the 25th Amendment for, uh, Trump to be impeached. And he said no. So, that's just kind of... Yeah, now they have to do extra work to get him out. And, you know, as I'm recording right now, there is live feeds on, like, Yahoo and uh, Facebook and Twitter and stuff about all the houses and what they need to do to impeach him. So, hopefully that works. But if, if uh, Mike Pence had said, yeah, yeah, go ahead and do it, he would have been out, like, no problem. But, yeah, it, like, buds or whatever, and it's ridiculous. Um, and also, it, they're trying to blame, uh, the Black Lives Matter group for all this, or, like, they're doing fake flyers and stuff so it can be pointed back to them. And just know that Black Lives Matter is not involved in any of that, so... If you see a flyer like that, or if you see a tweet that says, come out and, like, you know, rally with us, no, don't go. It's a, it's a setup for getting, you know, hurt or worse. And it's all Trump followers. So, just to let y'all know that. Uh, yeah, that's really all I have for right now. Just, you know, stay safe if you're in the D.C. area, especially. And, you know, just take precautions in your own state, you know, listen to what's going around, see any flyers or anything. Uh, and please, if you see anything or hear anything, tell um, your local, like, enforcers or whatever, like, or call the FBI, because they're doing, like, investigations on 150 of the people that were there. And those are just the ones that got caught. Or that they know for sure we're there. So, yeah, try to tell them because they're not dealing with it. And Trump yesterday got um, put on a 
little bang from uh youtube for like i think it said they are uh up not uploading any of his stuff for a week so there's that on top of um uh, being banned on twitter facebook i don't know how you get banned on spotify but spotify uh and pinterest how do you uh <clears throat> but yeah that's it. That's all I have. Uh, bye, everyone. Stay safe.